Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my virtual world Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Cyberstorm access. We got the new virtual world Tiger Fufu, a rank nine Xyz monster in the latest Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. A real powerhouse to add on to the virtual world deck, which benefits just from being able to gain different banish effects for all your different virtual world monsters that we run to then either utilize them for synchro or Xyz summons with the deck. This is the only new card we got from the Cyberstorm access set but was mixing around some of the other numbers for the deck as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we will go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters for the virtual world monsters we are running three copies of virtual world mahime lulu if it's in your hand you can target one virtual world card you control send one virtual world card or a different type monster spell trap from your deck to the graveyard and if you do special summon this card then you can add one virtual world card or a third type from your deck to your hand so with this card you have search power for the third type depending on the card you sent off of the card as well for your lulu and then also with this card for it being the tuner for most of your synchro uh, summons it's also a level three monster to work with the rank three summons you can only special summon level or rank three or higher monsters and you can only use this effect of virtual world Hime lulu once per turn so we don't really do any link summoning in the deck but we have synchro and exceeds for the good majority of what we run in the extra deck lulu just helps for that easy special summon setup for your virtual world monsters we're also running three copies of of virtual world Hime and Yan Yan with this card. If a level 3 monster is normal or special into your field while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card as a tuner, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, for the rest of this turn, you can only special summon level slash rank 3 or higher monsters. And if this card is banished, you can target one of your other banished cards and shuffle it into the deck, giving you more of a recycle power for your other virtual world cards, but still another easy special summon from the graveyard, especially with cards like Lulu, because then you can just overlay the two together for some of your rank 3 plays that you can go into with the deck. We are also running three copies of Virtual World Kieran Lili. With this card, if it's in your hand, you can target one virtual world card you control. Send one virtual world card of a different type, monster spell or trap, from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card, then you can send one virtual world card of a third type from your deck to the graveyard, except for virtual world Kieran. And also for the rest of this turn, you can always special summon the same restriction as the other virtual world cards. More setup for the hand special summon sending a virtual world card you control, and then giving that additional send for a third type of card, depending on if it was a spell, trap, or monster. Being a level six non-tuner, you can work with cards like your Lulu to then go for your level 9 synchro plays and then needing those level 9 monsters to be able to overlay them into your virtual world tiger fufu as well. We also run three copies of Virtual World Gigi with this card. If this card's in your hand, targeting a virtual card you control and one virtual card of a different type, Monster Spell Trap, from your deck to the graveyard to special summon this card. And then you can add one virtual world monster from your graveyard to your hand. So it's a specification for monsters with this card, but it has to be from your hand. And then you're locked into the same special summoning mechanics as the rest of the monsters. Just a level three non-tuner option because you can turn your Nyan Nyan into a tuner and Lulu is a tuner. So you need some other non tuner to then work to go into your level six synchro plays like your virtual world beast uh, for your level six synchro plays to use. Now, the non-three ups, I would run three Lao Lao as well. I don't have any. I don't know where I put my Lao Laos, but I'll show what you can put in for Lao Lao after the next card, which is virtual world Otohime Tutu. If you control no monsters or all monsters you control are psychic and or worm monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one psychic or War Monster. This special summon this card as a tuner, but banish it when it leaves the field. And also for the rest of this turn, you can only special summon level or rank three or higher monsters. So once again, another easy level six monster to get onto the field. It could be a tuner if need be for some of your other cards like GG in the deck as well, but it's more of a graveyard setup card. And even if you do banish it, there's a way to recycle it with our other virtual world monsters. Now for the Lao Lao position, you would run three Lao Lao additionally, but since I couldn't find any Lao Lao, I'm just putting in three Psychic Wielder. It's just a, an easy easy level three tuner special summon from your hand if you control a level three monster which more than enough you will most of the time but if you have virtual world Lalo, you can put it in for this copy of this card but otherwise it's just a special summon play and if it's used as a synchro material and sent to the graveyard you can target one monster on the field with attack less than or equal to the synchro monster and destroy it so it does have a destruction play i did consider running this card just couldn't find enough room for it as an additional resource with the other virtual world monsters
And then for the hand trap options, I am running the Gamma uh, package just for the additional synchro setup with our monsters as well if need be, but still just a great one with the current meta to stop a lot of different decks with your Gamma lineup, including Super Every Samurais and also uh, Pirelli, depending on what you go up against, and also three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. I kept the trap lineup open for our virtual world traps, so instead just running the additional Gamma lineup with the Ash Blossom instead of relying on infinite impermanence for this deck. Moving on now to the spells. I run three copies of Virtual World City Kowloon. Place one Virtual World Gate card from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone. Then you can apply any of the following effects in sequence based on the number of Virtual World Gate cards you control. If it's two all Virtual World monsters you control, gain 200 attack this turn. And if it's three, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. And if it's four, special summon up the four Virtual World monsters with different names from your extra deck. So you just have more of a setup for your virtual world gate cards that we run in the deck using this card as the searcher for them. Our main go-to one being virtual world gate King Long. Being a three of, you can banish one virtual world card from your graveyard, target one face-up monster on the field, and negate its effects until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. And you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one virtual world monster from your deck to your hand, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. So you can use it to search out specific virtual world cards and then set up other ones that would have better importance in the graveyard, like 2-2, for you just to special someone back onto the field. Also running the three emergency teleport, we run plenty of level three psychic monsters in the deck in the form of Nyan Nyan, uh, Lulu, and if we were not running the Lao Lao, the psychic wielder as an added option. If it does get banished, most of the time you're going to use it for a resource on the field, but still a three of for sure. We're also running two copies of Foolish Burial Goods. This is for a send option with Virtual World Gate King Long, having a banish from the graveyard to add the Virtual World Monster setup, like I mentioned before. And then for some of the one ofs, the one copy of Monster Reborn, one copy of Mind Control, and the one Gold Sarcophagus for the banish setup that we can do with this deck also. As for the traps, I'm running two copies of the Virtual World Gate uh, Shushay. With this card, you can target one face-up card on the field, shuffle two of your banished Virtual World cards with different names from each other into the deck then destroy that card and during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard target one virtual world monster you control and increase or decrease its level or rank by three until the end of this turn you're going to use each effect of virtual world gate shushi once per turn so shushi can also help if you need the additional monsters to go into your rank nine play for your virtual world fufu raising the level of just a level six virtual world card you have on the field as well Moving on to the extra deck, I run the one copy of Virtual World QB for the level 9 synchro option, having a banished play for any card sent from the field to the graveyard. And also with this card being a 2 when your opponent's monster, when your monster declares an attack, you can return one banished monster to the owner's graveyard. And during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish two other monsters from your graveyard with different original attributes from each other and special summon this card from your graveyard, giving you your level 9 back onto the field. One of the level 6 Virtual World Beast, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while you have two more monsters in your graveyard with the same original type and attribute but different names and you can banish two from your graveyard with the same original attribute but different names then target one card on the field and send it to the graveyard more of a send and setup thanks to this card but also the one copy of coral dragon the one copy of stardust charge warrior one vulcan the divine and also the one bryonic dragon of the ice barrier for our other level six synchros and for our level nine we're running one copy of navy dragon mech one Stellar Win Freyit, and the one Crystron Quarion Gandrix for the banish options with this card, and for the fact that it is a level 9 monster that can require two tuners, so if we're set up in some of those scenarios with Nyan Nyan, we can use her and Lulu along with one other non-tuner to make this card. For the Xyz monsters, we're running one copy of the new Virtual World Tiger Fufu. Needing two or more level 9 monsters gains the following effects based on the number of Virtual World Gate cards you currently control. If it's two or more, this card can attack directly. And if it's four, this card is unaffected by activated card effects except for your Virtual World cards. And once per turn quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster you control and one effect monster on the field with a different type and attribute from it and negate their effects to the end of this turn. Just a bigger boss monster to be able to go into. We really only need the one of because that's the majority I would say you would use at a time in a game to go into since it is a pretty heavily invested card to make into also the one copy of virtual world shell jaja one virtual world phoenix fon fon one virtual world dragon long long and also the one ghost trick alucard and the one levier for the other rank three options we can go into 
And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck for our virtual world setup, we do have a good variety of setup to rely on with our synchro monsters. It all comes down to what you can activate. If you go for the virtual world city card, allowing you to set and activate your virtual world card, you could go for setting up your Shushi face up in your spell trap card zone. That can be the level increase for your monster on the field additionally. And then you can go for activating your King Long and then being able to banish a virtual world card from your graveyard target a face up monster in the field and negate its effects or if this card leaves the field for the banish you can add one virtual world monster from your deck to your hand so you can banish this card so first you can go for your play off of your lulu being able to target a virtual card to control you'll send king long to the graveyard and then also a different type from the card to the graveyard and with this card for the different monster type from the deck to the graveyard and special summon this card so then you can send the monster setup if you wish sending your tutu to the graveyard adding the additional Shushi Trap as well off of this card. But then you can special summon your Lulu onto the field. And then from there, you have the play for controlling no monsters or all of them being your War Monsters with the setup and discarding your monster to special summon this card as a tuner for your special summon of your Tutu. But also you have the play with your Lulu on the field and then the additional summon of one additional monster. If you have the setup in your graveyard for you to use or just that additional play, you can go for the additional summon of another virtual world monster so you can even go for the two two into the hand if you send the trap as the third option to the graveyard and then adding the two two to your hand if you have that and the additional yan yan in your hand for special summoning out or from the uh, graveyard while this card's in your graveyard it can be the third setup card in your graveyard giving you the search depending on what you want to go for off of the yan yan having you special summon it onto the field giving you that additional level six monster and then the discard of another card in your hand to summon out the two two onto the field and then you can go for your level six synchro play for your virtual world monster onto the field along with your 2-2 summoning out that level nine monster for first the level six play so you'll summon out your virtual world gg onto the field and then you'll need the additional play of your virtual world shushu to raise the level of your 2-2 on the field to level nine the juju will then also have the level six play additional summoning one monster so you'll need just the one more special summon from your hand whether you have the wielder beforehand to special summon while you had the lulu and Yan Yan on the field or the emergency teleport to summon it getting it onto the field and then giving you your level nine synchro monster on the field with the raised 2-2 monster on the field also being able to overlay the two into your new beast virtual world tiger fufu but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed just a small update we're getting to the end of all the new supported decks from cyberstorm access so i hope you all enjoyed this one as well and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out